So one game we have talked about quite a bit on this channel over the years, especially since the 35th anniversary of the entire franchise, is The Wind Waker. And inevitably, Twilight Princess tied in with it. The Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD have been rumored as coming to Nintendo Switch for years and years and years. It predates all of the Nintendo Switch 2 stuff. It has been around forever, and frankly, it almost feels like it's just never going to happen, right? These games were put in the HD over on Wii U, and well, we're getting things like Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition. We're still waiting for these games. And one thing has happened. Uh, we might have a leak here. We're going to call it a rumor, but it's coming from a place where there's actually a history of them leaking Switch games and other things early. And it does appear that the Wind Waker HD is coming to Switch. In fact, it might be coming to Switch as soon as December as a potential shadow drop by Nintendo. What are we talking about? Well, before we dive in, I want to remind you guys that we're on our road to 140,000 subscribers. So if you want to see how it's up to date on all things Nintendo, the rumors, the leaks, the actual news when we get news on stuff, because right now news is a little bit dry, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. All right, so where are we getting this from? Well, it comes from a retailer. And before I say anything else, I know what you're thinking right now. All oh, these retailers leaks they're a dime a dozen like why should we put any stock into the retail leaks and generally i agree with you why would we put any stock into retail leaks well outside of there being some that have factually been true in the past this particular retailer has had a number of them true and in fact this retailer isn't even beholden to nintendo like most are in fact the reason they're not beholden to nintendo might actually make you doubt what they're saying because why would they know but we'll get into it in a moment here as we go look at what's happening so over here on the gaming leaks and rumors subreddit we see that it says legend of zelda wind waker hg spotted on video.igr.net which is a russian game store now you might go well that's a russian game store i thought nintendo stopped selling things in russia you are correct Nintendo does not officially publish or sell anything in Russia right now. They don't sell any Switches. They don't sell games. The digital eShop is closed. Yes, they have cut off Russia from being able to sell games. That doesn't mean retailers can't be importing things, though, to sell. And that's where we have to get into this here, because as you go down in the comment section, you're going to notice a few things. As an example, you get to this post by link underscore 117. It says, doesn't Nintendo no longer operate in Russia, right? The exact response... I just told you, right? Like, why would they even know anything about Nintendo? Nintendo doesn't operate in Russia. And they, Square underscore ear 936. And they say, in the past, this store leaked Metro Redux and Darksiders 3 for Switch. In 2023, near the official GTA 6 reveal, they already started pre-orders. So before the reveal even happened, they were already taking pre-orders. Um, but yeah, imports exist and all of that. Uh, you know, that, that makes the source questionable. They may have lost contact with the original distributor, but they have good contacts with other distributors. Some video games in Russia nowadays are more and more often appearing on local eBay before official release. It's worth remembering that even Nintendo itself had such leaks, such as the Switch OLED Tears of the Kingdom limited edition appear in the hands of some YouTubers before the official announcement. The whole point here is that just because Nintendo does not distribute games in Russia doesn't mean that the games aren't appearing there anyways, whether through eBay or obviously importing from from retailers importing from other countries so essentially uh, because this retailer has a history of leaking uh, games like several of them in the same way people are taking this serious now you might go well I didn't see the leak I just saw the reddit post well let's go back over there and let's click on it here's the leak it's obviously like a cell phone pick uh, and you can see in here all the things listed uh, here for 1231 1231 these are always placeholder dates um, but the big thing here that we're focused on is right here. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD featuring a Nintendo Switch box art. Now, that might be a fan-made box art, or maybe it's an official one because they got access to it. We don't know, uh, but what we do know is that it is listed as releasing this year. Now, we obviously have release dates here for like Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. No one's questioning that game because we already know that game is coming. It's just releasing at this particular store later than the official release date, definitely indicating it's being imported. But the point here is that the Wind Waker HD is being listed. So... What is my takeaway then? Well, you know what? Is this it? Is it finally time for me to go? The Wind Waker HD is happening, everybody. Get hyped. Well, uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. There's certainly a lot of circumstantial evidence to suggest we shouldn't ignore this. And that's exactly why this video exists. 
Uh, look, there's a lot of things going on at Nintendo, and this could very well be their December game. They don't really have a really big title for December, and as strange as it is, would it be to have Echoes of Wisdom and the Wind Waker HD at the same time? It also could help them push a little sales of Switch, so maybe they think it's the right time to drop it. Now, I would think the Wind Waker HD would be more like a 2025 game if it was coming, but you know what? I can't put it past Nintendo. Maybe they have so many damn games coming next year, they just don't want to bother. Maybe Twilight Princess HD is next year, right? So, uh, I did always say if, if Twilight Princess HD or Wind Waker HD came, I didn't really see it as a dual pack. I know some people want it to be. I always felt like it would be an individual release. These are huge Zelda games. Uh, you know, if they did Skyward Sword on their own, uh, Link's Awakening on their own, why wouldn't they do this on their own uh but yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited if this does happen of course now this is where i'm going to get into a little bit of my experience with uh the wind waker and why i think this game is so special there's there's a lot of reasons for it but the primary one is simply that the wind waker is just a magical timeless adventure i it, the art style was already timeless on gamecube made even more timeless in the hd version maybe a little bit too much bloom here and there but for the most part a very timeless experience uh, with amazing uh, story and art direction maybe the best ganondorf story um the game that looks like it's a kid game but then acts very much like it's for adults deals with a lot of uh, adult themes hell there's auction house stuff going on and uh, look, in the end, this game is just magical to me. The only flaw in the Wind Waker HD to me is that they got rid of the Tingle Tuner quest, which I know is really hard to do uh, in today's modern world because that involved using multiple systems. But also, it had a very unique and kind of dark story for Tingle tied to that that's now gone and replaced with Tingle bottles. And sending messages in bottles in the ocean, having your friends pick it up is cute, but it's not the same as replacing literal character growth and story like we had for Tingle before. Uh, but, you know, maybe they find a way to bring that back in. Uh, as we've seen them with a lot of these remastered remakes, maybe there's some additional content, some additional features. Uh, look, 60 FPS and 1080p is enough for me, but maybe there's more. Uh, and look, I, I think The Wind Waker holds a special place in my heart. Uh, it is one of the games that, you know, art style-wise really diverged from the normal for Zelda and kind of started the trend where every generation of Zelda just has its own unique art style. Like, I suspect the next big 3D Zelda game isn't going to look like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom in terms of art direction. It's going to be another new art direction. I don't know if it's going to go... I don't know where they're going to go with it. Maybe they go realistic. Maybe they go more cartoony. We, who really knows what Nintendo has in, in store for that? But I do think that they're going to go with a different art style. Maybe they don't, and it's just a different world. Uh, that's entirely possible as well. Maybe Nintendo's now standardized the art direction for Zelda. I guess we won't know that until we get the next one. But, um, it, look, the Wind Waker issue has that unique art style that that's timeless. This game is going to always look good forever. Um, you know, sailing the ocean. I, I, when I was a kid, I used to think it was kind of empty and pointless. Now as an adult, I have a deeper appreciation uh, for sailing the ocean. I, I find it to be quite peaceful at times um, and, and just enjoyable. Like, it's just fun to sit back and, and listen to that music as, as Link is just sailing with King of the Red Lions. You get to visit, uh, you know, Hyrule buried under the ocean. I don't want to spoil it all for people who have never played it, but the game just is special. It's just a special experience, and I really hope that it is coming. If it's December, cool. If it's later than that, because that's just a placeholder date, cool. You know, December is just me taking a shot in the dark. If this does have any legitimacy, uh, it might not be December. It could be next year, but they might announce it this year. Who knows? Uh, all I know is this retailer does have a history, and uh, we're you know that's why we're talking about it. If there was no history, it just would be another throwaway random listing on a website that wouldn't be worth it. But because this retailer has done this before and been correct, we just have to uh, take it at face value. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Are we finally getting the Wind Waker HD? Or is this just another getting our hopes up? You let me know down below. I'll catch you in the next video.